Shalom Chodesh Tov, Rosh Chodesh Kislev. We are here with Azriel Kushner, with Yona Friedman of the Ellie Tesla here in the, uh, at the Levitar Studios. And we'd like to wish a Mazel Tov to Zach Kfer on his engagement to Naama Herstic, sister of Seth Herstic. Mazel Tov to you, Seth, as well. Emir to Shambayu. Bikaro, very soon. And a Mazel Tov to Tzvi and Erica Solomon on their recent marriage, and a Mazel Tov upcoming to Mark Merrill and Nikki Levine getting married on the same night um, in two different continents. I wish you both Mazel Tov. Rosh Chodesh Kislev, I'm here in a beautiful Sefer called Sefer Todah, the Book of Our Heritage, Eliyahu Kitov. Um, he points out very interestingly that the zodiac symbol for Kislev is actually the rainbow, the Keshev. And he says that this month is a very interesting month. As we saw this past uh, Shabbos, Friday night here, Gishmei Bracha, we had a lot of Geshem, but we also have a lot of sun. And this Geshem and sun together in one month, and that causes the rainbow to come out. In fact, the very first rainbow, says Rav Kito, um, is happened on, Cheshva, on excuse me, Kislev itself, that right after Noah came out of Teva, that was the 28th of Cheshvan. And right after that, so he offered sacrifices, and then the famous breed between a Kaddish Baruch Hu and the world. And that breed was a Keshet, which happened in the month of Kislev. Could be the very beginning, or perhaps the middle of Kislev, but the breed is associated, the, the Keshet, the rainbow is associated with Kislev. What is, what is a Keshet? What is a rainbow? Um, I think that perhaps the rainbow is one of the most powerful symbols of our tafkid in this world. What exactly is the Kaddish Baruch Hu trying to remind Noah and us um, till today with the rainbow? And I will uh, perhaps go off for a second. We know that Adam Arishon was one of the very most important characters in all of history, the first man, um, Adam Arishon. And the Medrash says that Adam Arishon was very tall. He was so tall that his feet were on the earth and his, and his head was in the heavens. And uh, this obviously is a medrash not to be taken literally, but to understand what the medrash is talking about, we have to understand what that means. One whose feet are on the ground and his head is in the heavens, um, sort of like the ladder in Yaakov's dreams, that Sulam Utsav Artsa, Roshamagyat Shemaima, that Parsha is always read during Kislev. So that is something that connects Shemaim Ba'aretz. The tafki of man in this world is to connect Shemaim Ba'aretz. A rainbow symbolizes the connection between Shemaim Varetz. Rain is when we do the Ratzon of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, so then HaKadosh Baruch Hu brings Matar Bito, brings the rain in its time. That rain is a connection between Shemaim and the Aretz, and that's what brings the Bracha and brings all of the bounty and the Bracha to us in this world. So the message of Kislev is to be human beings, Jews, holy people that connect Shemayim Ba'aretz. The, the Torah starts off with Breshi Bara Elokim et Shemayim vet Ha'aretz. And the Torah, in the very end, talks about Hazinu Shemayim Ba'debeira Batishma Ha'aretz in Ritpi. Connection between Shemayim Ba'aretz. If so, our tafkin in this world is through our Torah, through our mitzvah, Bezrat Hashem, we should be zochet to connect Shemayim Ba'aretz. Rosh Chodesh, Kislev Sameach, we should all be zochet to connect Shemayim Ba'aretz.